Hi, I am Soraya Marsh. Welcome to Shake It Up. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the benefits of like protein shakes and how to make one. Um, my cousin Mandy actually is like a super health organic freak and so she taught me how to do this. Um, if you're anemic, if you don't have time for meals, if you want to add extra protein into your like day daily routine for like bulking or um, yeah, meal replacements if you want to lose weight, all that kind of thing. So I guess I'll start off with showing you like my protein. This is one of my favorites. It's a vanilla, creamy vanilla protein from a company that my family likes to support. Um, whenever you get your protein, you want to make sure that it's like non-GMO, like organic, gluten-free. Um, it doesn't have sugar and stuff like that because this is for health benefits. You don't want to get like fake protein. So this has got a good source of fiber. Um, healthy heart formula and there's 14 grams of protein per serving so this is awesome also my cousin told me to put spinach in it and that kind of freaked me out because I thought it was going to be disgusting but you can't taste it it's just got a lot of like health benefits so I have some spinach and then also she taught me flaxseed which um, yeah I don't really know what this does but you can't taste it so it's healthy you can't taste it it's a good choice to use I have a banana and an apple, some vanilla yogurt, which I got light because I'm trying to be healthy. Um, also, I do coconut milk because I don't like how thick real milk is, and this is really creamy. And then this peanut butter powder is 85% less fat than regular peanut butter, and it goes really good in shakes. So I'm going to add some of that in there too. Okay, so, oh, I didn't show the fruit. Here's the fruit. It has all kinds of fruits. You can do like strawberry banana smoothies, or if you like meat and you like all the fruit, then do all the fruit. So, all right, I'm going to start. I don't really know measurements, so I'm just going to start pouring things. Start with your coconut milk, like a pretty decent amount, just like that. And then your vanilla. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use like a cup of this, but I didn't bring those. So, I'm just going to dump it in here. Surely that was a cup, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, that was fine. There's some yogurts. Then you want to add one scoop. These come with measures, so you don't have to worry about it. One scoop of protein powder, and if you're weird and like want more, you can add more. One scoop of protein powder. Also, it smells really bad, but it tastes really good. Um, also, the flaxseed, you can do one scoop of flaxseed, too which it's really good. Oh, that's a lot. I'm going to I'm going to half that. That looks weird. I'm not super healthy, so I'm still weirded out by this. Okay. Flaxseed. Then your spinach, you want to do a handful of spinach leaves in there, which I guess is I don't know, what if your hands really small? You might need to do two. There we go. And then, yeah, so that's kind of how we're going to start out the beginning of this half of the segment is just getting the basics into our blender. And then we'll add in all the fruit and we'll blend it and we'll try it out in a little bit. So <laughs> I guess I can start cutting things with this handy dandy apple cutter, which is super easy. Or not if you're strong. Boom. Check that out. All right. So here goes our apples. They're going to be ready for us when we come back. So, you messed up. You're out late and doing the show. Clean your dinner drink that will ease you out of your woes. The same familiar taste. Try Sparrow Cider Mix. Great taste with none of the drawbacks. Sparrow Cider Mix. Real taste. Clear conscience. This product is intended for use by people who want to cure their hangover. Try it today. Alrighty, welcome back, you guys. So we got the apples cut up. Um, got the fruit all sitting here ready to go into the blender. So as I get this banana ready, I just want to say that like I'm anemic, and so I'm supposed to wake up and eat these in the morning um, to kind of like give me an energy boost throughout the day. And I also don't really eat that much food. I think I eat like once a day, maybe. So these are really good for me to 
get my protein and all that stuff. I forgot a knife, so I'm using a spoon, but it's a banana, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we're going to put the banana, a whole entire banana. And the reason why I'm using apples is not for the flavor. Apples actually make it creamier, so that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. My cousin told me that apples make the consistency of the protein shake, like, really smooth. So if y'all like protein shakes, you know, try it out at home. Boom. Okay. I guess the last ingredient, almost last ingredient, is fruit. And it's going to get my hands really dirty because it will bleach you or stain your hands. But this has all kinds of fruit. And they're frozen. That way you don't really have to use a lot of ice. Um, but I just do a couple handfuls of that because this is the flavoring. <laughs> wow, this is, I love this actually. Check that out. Okay. If you're grossed out by textures, you might want to use a, like a spoon for that or something. But I brought napkins, so it's okay. All right. So now we're going to put the lid on and blend it, and then we're going to check the consistency to see if we need to add ice or not, and then I'm going to put peanut butter in at, at the very end because I want to taste it first. Well, <laughs> there we go. Okay. So you want to pulse it and then put it on high. Yeah, it's really loud. Sorry. Okay, then you can take it off and shake it. And see, it's like super runny. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can kind of tell. You might want to add ice, which I have that, so. All right. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really runny. So we're going to put some ice in here to make it thicker. Y'all like my container? Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think this looks great, and honestly, I'm really excited to drink it. It's still a little runny, but that's fine. So when you're at home and you have more ice, um, do it to your, like, preference. But I got these cute little things and biodegradable straws. So, like, we're trying to be healthy, so go green, save the earth. And let's just go ahead and pour that in here. Actually, this looks fabulous. Okay. There's one. Now, y'all, I'm going to put some peanut butter in this one because peanut butter is really overpowering. So I wanted to do two different ones because sometimes the peanut butter powder is too much to handle and it will, like, take over the entire flavor of the smoothie. So add a little bit of this powder. And then put the lid back on. Hit blend. <laughs> All right, cool. So now we have a peanut butter smoothie with lots of fruit and health benefits. And you also have one without peanut butter. So yeah, this is what we're working with. I'm going to go ahead and taste both of them. So that is bomb because I love smoothies. All right, the peanut butter one's my favorite, wins. Try this at home, you guys. <laughs>